history, interesting, uninteresting, and that's all I'm doing. This is turned on in one of two ways. The first is to press the caps lock key on your keyboard. The second is to go to the photo menu and choose auto advance. On the left side, bottom left, you'll find a little icon that's the grid. You can click on it instead, chosen as a pick. Make sense? So you can very quickly narrow down a series of images. Now, rate them, that kind of stuff. But we'll talk more about that. You'll find set rating, and you can choose your rating, or keyboard shortcut. Just hit number keys, one through five. Some people find that to be more useful. I find it's useful to go through and start doing ratings. So here, under the library menu, I can say filter by flag. Uh, and I can also choose filter by rating to say only show me image. There's a chance it can work, but with remote servers that are not physically on your machine, it doesn't usually like it as much. Okay. And then when, when I work on hard drive, is simply slower than your internal one. Okay. Because it, when you buy a hard drive, you'll see that uh, it'll list different RPMs, like 7200 or even higher than that. And the higher that is, the faster the hard drive is. Or if you ever see the letters SSD, um, that could be your internal, if you have what you're on right now. Um, that says for solid state digital. SSD drives are amazingly fast. And if that's what's built into your computer, I could click on an image. And on the right side of my screen is a, a panel that I can open. You know, remember that little arrow on the edge of your screen? If I'm in the library and I, I go to that, I can scroll down in one of those choices in there is something called metadata and in there on the right side it can tell me the dimensions of the picture in pixels and so this is a big image uh, it's slider and you let go of the mouse it's saved there is no open there is no save there's just switching between pictures lightroom is completely undoable so you can experience from this file and apply it to the other because everything you menu we have preferences and we also have catalog settings. Preferences will apply to all Lightroom. If you close one catalog and open another one, the stuff in preferences will apply to both of them, any, any uh, catalog you open. But then there's catalog settings, and catalog settings are specific to this particular catalog. So I could have one catalog with one set of settings, and in here we have little tabs at the top, different categories of settings. And what I want to do is make sure I'm on the rightmost tab that's there, called metadata. And there's just one checkbox I want to turn on that I don't believe is turned on by default. And that is one called automatically write changes to XMP. That's not very self-explanatory, is it? Automatically write changes to XMP. But for me, it's important that that is turned on. After turning that on, I'm just going to close this uh, dialog box and let's talk about it a little bit. Within Lightroom, it needs to keep track of those adjustments somewhere. It can keep track of them in one of two places. It can keep track of it in a central database that Lightroom maintains that affects all of your images, where all of them are kept track of. The problem with that concept is that database could get corrupt or it could be on a separate hard drive than your pictures and suddenly you take your pictures and connect them to a different it can do is save it as a little bitty file the little bitty file will have the same file name as the files you work with it'll just end with the letters xmp so if you ever look in a folder of images outside of lightroom Let's see if i can find a folder of images here once you turn on that checkbox, that if you have an image, here's a raw file, there's the preview of the file, that if you've adjusted the image within Lightroom and you've turned on the preference that I just mentioned, you should get an that's a tiny text file. And when I mean tiny, I mean, and all it does is it, it um, writes down what little file. If I didn't have that preference turned on that I showed you a few moments ago, then you wouldn't get these little files called XMPs. All you would have is your original picture with no adjustment applied to it. And if you just moved that hard drive to another computer and tried to preview those images, they would look like the originals. They wouldn't reflect what you've done in Lightroom. But as long as I use Lightroom or another Adobe product to view this, if it's got a little XMP file, then it knows what I've done in Lightroom.